I know I have mentioned this before, but uh, I'm captivated once again today uh, with just a couple of words, a phrase here and there that opens up the door to so much for us to consider. And that's the case again today. Our reading is Ezra 9 and 10, Psalm 131, and Luke chapter 21. And of course, in Luke chapter 21 is uh, the parallel passage to Matthew chapter 24, which describes some of the end time events. And uh, the phrase that caught my attention was, uh, but before the, all these things, and that's in Luke chapter 21, verse 12. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons. Uh, you will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And as I've already suggested, the key phrase here is, but before all these things. We used to sing this song. Um, every promise in the book is mine. Every chapter, every verse, every line. And uh, it's, a, it's a great little song that we used to sing. Uh, but here's a promise that we are, you don't know, rip out of your promise box. Box you. It's not one that you find in there that there is going to be, there will be difficult times. Uh, but before these things, well, what things? That's what he's been describing in the previous verses in about uh, verse 8 through 11. But before all these things, uh, wars, rumors of wars, trials, persecutions, uh, then he says they're going to deliver you up and persecute you. And I think that that's an, an important consideration for us, especially in light of all that's going on. Uh, it does speak to me of the things that are happening right now. Before all these things, we see them taking place all around us right now. Uh, the demise of this nation, uh, the threat even most recently of, of nuclear holocaust. Uh, it's just, it is amazing. Uh, so what's going to happen? Well, we're going to see, I believe firmly, some difficult times ahead. So what do we do? We prepare for that. Uh, Prepare, I think, most importantly, spiritually, so that we know what we believe. I've said this so many times, so that we know what we believe and why we believe it. Because there are going to be those, there are already those who are attempting to tear down Christianity, uh, especially those who are holding on to the truth of the Word of God. And it's coming down. Before all these things that are certainly a part of the final scenario of the end times, there will be, I believe, some tough times ahead in this country for those of us who hold on to the truth of the Word of God, who are uncompromising in our faith. Already, I think the signs are clear. Christians are blamed for much, and society will turn on those believers who do, who do all these things to us. Although, you know, this is a, I guess we could call it a specific Jewish passage, but yet the principle most certainly applies to all that is going on in this country and in this world today. And we we cannot afford to be caught unawares, dear ones. Paul warns of these very things in Timothy and Titus, as well as many other places in Scripture where we see these various things predicted uh, by the prophets, by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And so what do we do? Well, we continue to preach the Word because it's the Word that will set men free. It, it is the preaching of the gospel, the good news of the gospel that will cause men to be convicted, that the Holy Spirit will use that word to, to, to like a, a, a knife, stab the hearts, prick the hearts of men and women. Some will listen, some will not, many will not, but we still must continue to preach the word. And so my encouragement to you today is, again, God is faithful. We can trust him. There is hope beyond this life, and that's where we have to keep our focus on the things to come. Amen. Before all these things, before all the wars, rumors of wars, all that, there's going to be a testing time. So let's be ready so that we pass the test. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today. And like us on Facebook, uh, share it on your Facebook page, all those things. Sign, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, I'm thanking you in advance for doing that. May the Lord richly bless you today.